Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to another bushcraft adventure here on the beautiful Vancouver Island. Today we are doing a little bit different of a trip than I normally do. It's going to be like a glamping trip for me. <laughs> I came fully loaded. I got a, a bunch of gear with me today to enjoy myself in the woods. It's supposed to be um, a rainy time. It's not raining right now, but uh, we're going to be pretty relatively cold around two to three degrees for this whole trip. Uh, we're supposed to get rain um, halfway through this day apparently and overnight so I came prepared today to enjoy myself out here. We're gonna build a bit of a camp. Uh, I got a couple tarps with me. Uh, I will do a video. I'll run through all of my gear pretty much right now um, in a separate video. I'll link that in the description so you, if you are interested in what I brought with me um, yeah you can go check it out. And I'm basically just gonna film myself putting a camp together and you can kind of just enjoy some pure kind of bushcrafty stuff for I don't know several minutes at least <laughs> all right let's get going okay so on my belt I have the condor pack o lock modified you can take a look at the uh, gear review video if you want to see more rat 3 modified doesn't look like your traditional rat 3 uh, it's got ferro rod Silky Zubat and Bear Spray. The Zubat has the convenient clip so I can do it if I want to take it off. So all your tools are with you at all times. So uh, a little dangly, a little dangly, but it's good because you still can do squats in the forest. I got a fun idea for this spot. It's a nice open spot. I got a few trees to work with. Um, yeah, I got something fun that I think I could do with this, which is exciting. Uh, usually I don't have this much space to work with. Usually the forest is very enclosed. I feel very phlegmy right now, in case you wanted to know that. Yeah, I got a, I got a fun idea brewing in my mind and I'm gonna try to implement it.
just measuring it out, casually measuring it out. I give myself extra paracord so I can, I don't know, wrap it more. Or if I make a mistake, just a tensioning knot. Make sure it actually works properly. And then I tie just a little overhand right by right by that knot to just stop it from slipping down. Then we can go under it again. supposed to be raining by now. I'm really happy that it's not. So I can do all of this with like some dry, you know, it's dry. <laughs> I'm just using jute twine on the tying this cross beam. It doesn't really need to be supported. I could prob probably maybe tie the support beams that I put on, but um, they're just kind of there to keep this from bouncing around too much so they're not really like paracord will keep it on <clears throat> so uh, yeah you don't need you could use paracord for this but I have jute twine and it's cheaper All right, this is what I got. I got an A-frame going on with uh, part of the tarp down there for, you know, to lie down on so it's not as moist. Then I can put my bed rolls on top of that, no problem. And, you know, I could call this good and just sleep, <laughs> sleep in it like this. Uh, that, went, that went better than I expected today so far without rain. So that, that's super nice. You know, I used some stakes, some uh, twigs that I found around to pin this guy down 
Um, but I still feel like building things, so why don't I just continue to make this shelter better? It just broke on me in half. <laughs> oh, that was rotten. <laughs> Didn't even know it. Look for a new one. I'm getting a little thirsty, so let's go down to the water source, take a drink. I'm gonna bring the life straw with me and my two mugs and fill them up with water, bring them back to camp. I don't really need a water bottle uh, when I have those two things and a life straw, so let's go do that. Cheers. <sighs> nice and cold. Convenient. <clears throat> Definitely recommend the life straw. The rain is coming. I gotta go uh, put up my big tarp now. I probably should have done it a bit earlier, but I wanted to get some building while I had a... Uh... That's not even, this is freezing rain. I just saw it bounce off the camera.
I'll make do. All right, I need to connect two pieces of rope together. So what you do is do an overhand knot around one piece. If you can do it right. Right? Overhand knot around one. And then you do an overhand knot around the other. Pull it together and they just cinch down. It's a quick and easy way to connect two pieces of rope together and they won't go anywhere. All right, I got the big white tarp set up. It's about like head height, so I can walk pretty cleanly just skimming my toque through it. I did like, um, I forget the name of the knots, the ones that you can adjust, the tensioning knots. Um, so I, I have all four corners tied off to trees, but I did a ridge line across the two trees above the kind of wood area, uh, my wood actual camp. It's uh, over the front of like the door, and now I have an area to play. <laughs> so I could chop wood for fire and, you know, hang out outside if it starts to downpour. So that was kind of like a freezing rain. It just like whoosh, came and then went. And I was expecting more, like it was saying it was going to be crazy today, but maybe I'm just in this little pocket near the coastline down there that I'm just missing it. I don't know. Hopefully that's the case. I would love to just miss the rain completely. <laughs> All right, ridge line, cross, one corner, another corner to that tree, corner all the way. That was the one I had to tie to. And I got a rope going to that tree there and to that tree over there. So that's yeah, pretty, uh, it's looking pretty cozy. I'm hoping that the water if it rains a lot, it will just come off slightly down here. But we can go walk underneath without hitting our heads. Exciting. I did an overhang as well, just over the entranceway here. And I'm hoping that the rain, if there's a lot of water, will go that way and not kind of just dump on this tarp. Now that I'm not worried about the tarp, I'm going to think about firewood. I got a decent dead standing right by the camp. It's leaning the other way. I'm going to show you how you can fell this with the go lock. Um, obviously the saw would be easier, but might as well show off. So I'm undercut back cuts a little bit higher. Two hands like an ax.
You want to watch your legs. You can, if you can swing it like this. So if you miss, you're not hitting your leg. Instead of going like this. And control your hit too. I could try to be cool and like build like a nice wood wall all the way up, you know, like have a nice and sawed off. But like this literally took me doing this wall here took me more time than setting up the poles and the tarp <laughs> for the main shelter. These walls take a, a reasonable amount of time and usually building something like a debris where it's just twigs and like maybe a bit of a frame and then dumping a bunch of stuff way faster um, as long as it's reasonably dry, even if it's not, um, it's way faster than doing like poles, like a ton of poles and building shelter out of poles. Like you have to saw a lot of wood, you have to find a lot of wood and it burns up calories and you're exhausted by building one fire reflector. <laughs> not that I'm exhausted yet, but, um, so we're just gonna throw a bunch of crap on here. Not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for a little bit more airtight. Just been collecting a few Douglas fir boughs for a front door. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it, but yeah, just a little bit of protection and I'll crawl in on the side here. Maybe have one to close it off at the end. Look what I found. Interesting. <laughs> I'll show, show you how close this is. That's there. My camp is over there. I've been here for a while now and I didn't even know this was here. <laughs> I am in the area that I did, uh, I did an overnight previously, but it's uh, in a different location in this general area and I found a lot of deer kills uh, in that video too so something's happening <laughs> so I'll be able to crawl in from this side that'll do for a front door that took way way faster than doing the back side <laughs> be a bit warmer a little bit more insulated Just been building my fire pit, my uh, Adrian's wall. <laughs> I think I got that right. Um, just reflect a bit of heat and I'll do logs this way. So not making it round so I can kind of just uh, do long poles. Working like a charm. Dripping exactly where I wanted it to. Been collecting some firewood before it gets too wet. Lots of twigs and stuff and a few longer pulls.
this trip could have easily been miserable. <laughs> I just missed the rain. Glad I put the tarp up. Getting a bit cold, so I'm gonna brew up some coffee. Starting to get a little, some bubbles in there. Dump some coffee in. I have no idea. But one spoon. Two spoons. And a bit more. It's getting rainier. <laughs> oh, nothing like a hot coffee hot cup of coffee and a nice uh <laughs> rainy underneath the tarp hiding hiding from the elements. Mm. That's good. Just got a nice bag of trail mix and dry fruit to snack on and eventually I'll get a fire hopefully going and cook some dinner. I'm gonna create a flat surface. Put the baton on. I can't tell if you're in focus. Officially turned my tarp area into a bit of a wood processing wood processing <laughs> factory. A little sweatshop going on here. <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to baton through something really long. We'll see how it goes. Don't hit the tarp.
I preset my fire. I did my fire lay underneath the tarp so it wouldn't get wet. The ball of shavings and fire starter in there. Two bundles of twigs and then some dryer stuff that I just broke off. And I have some spare twigs here just in case this doesn't work, but I feel like it should give a hot fire.
I'll be cooking a smoky and I'm gonna wrap it in bannock. <laughs> uh. I'm just lying here with my head on my knee pad and a, a quarter blanket that I brought. Uh, just lying on top of that down while the fire and my cooking is going on just listening to the rain, enjoying it. Very successful day. Glad to have brought both tarps. Uh, it's really nice to have an area to work under and just take your time and not worry about the rain. So that was fun to have two tarps. So hopefully I sleep well tonight. Hopefully the dinner is really good. Got the uh, bannock cooking there. It's looking good, just enough away from the flames, get a bit smoky. <laughs> All right, I got some wood drying out here that I'll throw on later at night. And the bread is kind of baking up there right now. It's got a nice heat up there and it's getting close to be eating time. I also have a rock over there that I'm drying out and I might throw that in my shelter or even in my sleeping bag if things work out. This fire has been awesome. I'm super happy about it. This has been a very enjoyable, fun, bushcrafty day. Super enjoyable. I got my big smoky and my bannock smoky. Mm. That's a good one. Nice and fluffy. Oh, after a long, hard day of bushcraft, this is going down really, really tasty. Oh, I slept well. I was warm and cozy inside <clears throat> the A-frame there. It was a windy and rainy night though. It was crazy like that lifted up like a sail. The wind was like blowing the smoke in all four directions <laughs> at night time. That was crazy. It was pretty stormy last night. But uh, I managed to sleep very well considering the shelter I built and using all of the gear that I had. I slept in until like 9 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm just going to brew up a coffee, get a fire going in the morning, and then we'll call this one. I got some powdered milk in this one and a bit of sugar, so... It looked like I dumped in a lot of stuff, <laughs> which I did, but.
I've just been stacking wood and kind of platforms crisscross, letting the fire come up. The wetter wood is on top right now and the dry stuff was used for this area here. And then you got some wood that was burned last night but is a bit wet at the bottom. Should uh, ignite into coals and this fire will be really good for a while. Took some to use. So here are some of the key kind of tools and things that worked for me on this trip. Um, overview and I'll just talk about them quickly. Um, second tarp was uh, absolutely necessary on this trip to, for it to be enjoyable. It gave me an area to create a very nice fire and not get bogged by the, the wind and the rain. Uh, it blew up like a sail at nighttime. Um, it got pretty stormy at one point. Um, and then you have the uh, one tiger's tarp that I did the A-frame with that worked out well. It was pretty warm in there. I put two hot rocks inside that area. Um, yeah, I had a comfortable sleep up until, you know, seven in the morning. Then I had to get up. <laughs> Amazon mug, which nests into the Stanley mug over there, still brewing breakfast. It's good to have a nesting system with the stove kit fitting inside of it. Um, that just worked for me with the stuff I, I had. I just managed to figure out that system. So I was able to have like a coffee. It helps warm you up quickly working in the cold and the rain. And you just want to have a hot drink or like a, a or making a porridge or something very quickly to to heat up and get warmer. Um, they're very useful. Lots of cordage. I used all of these pieces for the tarp system and some jute twine as well. That was necessary to have this type of a trip. Through night one, it's great flashlight, I used it a lot. The life straw was a huge game changer because I could just drink out of the mugs. I collected rainwater last night, filled it all the way up, was able to take a drink whenever I wanted to without having to boil it. It's very convenient. That was a big plus on this trip. Olight Warrior X, that's a, it's a good flashlight. I could put it on my belt, which I particularly like. Bear spray so you're safe. Silky Zubat. 
what is it, 330. I think it's like one of the best bushcraft saws in my opinion. Condor pack go lock, it did, did reasonably well. Was able to make the fire with it. So the Zubat definitely did more work I feel, but Route 3 was great for cordage cutting and small tasks, carving, and yeah, there was no problem with it. I really liked it this trip with the ferro rod holder on it. That's my modified Rat 3. I grinded off the choil so I could get nice and close on it, made the handle a bit shorter, worked well. It's a nice slicey blade uh, EDC to carry when you got a large knife on you as well. So this was the stuff that really worked out for me on this trip. Made it an enjoyable trip where I could be warm and eat food and just have a good time instead of being miserable and cold and wet. The fire definitely warmed up this whole area last night with the wind and stuff. It, the rain didn't matter. It kept it going really strong. Well, I'm all packed down and I'm about ready to go. Just enough time to enjoy my porridge. I've let it cook for a long time. It's really softened up. It tastes wonderful. This was an awesome trip. I really enjoyed this one. Please comment, like, subscribe, notify, do all those cool things. If you like seeing these videos, I should be trying to do more of them, more of the overnight stuff. So I hope you guys have a good day. Take care.